welcome to the March 30th, 2012 edition of Inside Rensselaer, about the people, research, and events at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. It's official. A record total of 15,201 high school students have filed applications to attend Rensselaer this fall. That represents a growth of more than 4% since last year at this time, and a 172% increase since 2005. This month, President Shirley Ann Jackson was the inaugural recipient of the Council on Competitiveness America Competes Award for Public Service. According to the Council, it's given to a leader who has worked tirelessly to improve the quality of life in America and abroad through public service and private sector outreach. An international research team, including a group led by Professor James Napolitano, has released the first research results from the massive Dea Bay Reactor Neutrino Experiment. They've proven how an important component of matter called neutrinos can appear to vanish as they travel. Biologist Lee Ligon has found a previously unknown connection between breast cancer tumor cells and the surrounding healthy tissue. The results provide new information on the earliest stages of breast cancer metastasis. A new research program at Rensselaer seeks to define the next generation of low-orbit satellites that are more maneuverable, cheaper to launch, easier to hide, and longer-lived. This research also holds the promise of guiding dead satellites and other space debris more safely to the Earth's surface. Doctoral student Pamela Fuller has been awarded two of the nation's most prestigious fellowships, the National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellowship and the National Defense Science and Engineering Graduate Fellowship. Four Rensselaer alumni were named finalists, including one winner, in the 2012 Women of Innovation Awards, a celebration of Connecticut's outstanding women in science and technology, sponsored by the Connecticut Technology Council. D3Hoops.com has announced its all-region teams, and student-athlete Hillary McKinley was selected to the East Region First Team, marking her first career all-region honor. Five athletic squads were recently honored for their work in the classroom, showing just cause why varsity student-athletes posted a higher GPA than that of their non-student-athlete counterparts for the 21st straight semester. The not-for-profit Young Actors Guild will be entering its 23rd season on campus this fall. Earlier this month, the program received a donation from the Rensselaer County Legislature, the third donation the program has received. The Rensselaer Contemporary Music Ensemble will present a concert titled Nature Songs, featuring compositions by musicians who have taken their inspiration from nature on April 10th at MPAC. And starting April 2nd, MPAC presents Index. Multiple sculptures filmed via small live cameras result in a video projection that will appear throughout the public spaces at the center. The 13th International Symposium on the Science and Technology of Lighting, an elite forum of scientists and engineers sharing the most recent research and development, will take place June 24th through 29th at Rensselaer. And this month, members of the Red and White Student Organization, who serve as student ambassadors of Rensselaer, were recognized and honored by the Council for the Advancement and Support of Education. And that's it for this edition of Inside Rensselaer. For these stories and more, go to www.rpi.edu about inside.